taxes. Which if you look here, you can see it is 330 a month. Mm -hmm. So included in your mortgage payment, there's $330 for the taxes. So when you put that in January, you, they start saving it up. So there's January, February, and March, April, May, and June. And come June, in your escrow account, you can see they now have six months' worth of taxes, $330 a pop. Mm -hmm. They then take this, give it to the town, and the town is paid up. So you don't have to write the check for the taxes in July. Mm -hmm. And then when you make your July payment, once again, you lose $330, July, August, September, October, November, December, and then for next year, for next January, once again, they have the six months they need to pay your taxes. Kind of like a little budget plan. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, so you're always saving. You're always saving up money, mm -hmm. which they save up for you. And so the amount in your escrow account, you can see it goes, fills up, and then it empties out again. At some point, I'm going to have a piece of paper in here that's going to show that it goes up and it goes down, and it goes up and it goes down, and that's just simply them setting up the escrow account. So here, the, given the timing of this, that you're in November, you're not going to make the payment in December. They need to have enough money right here to pay your taxes for January. And if you're wondering why it says seven, it's because they're allowed to take a one or a two month cushion. So they take it an extra one. Make sense? Makes sense. Now, the part that doesn't make sense is this line right here, which is called aggregate adjustment. The aggregate adjustment you can see is minus thirty-one dollars and thirty-eight cents. This is an accounting entry. It used to be that if your taxes were a thousand, the bank would take two thousand bucks from you during the year. And you know, they were just making money with your money. So they finally passed a law to say you can take exactly what you need or one month or two months extra. That's that cushion they're allowed to take. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they actually calculate out, will we at any point in the year have a little bit more than we're supposed to have? And if they do, rather than next May say, send us a little less, keep your payments the same, they actually take it off the top right now and they put it on this line weirdly labeled aggregate adjustment. So this is what they figured just uh, from an accounting point of view they'll be off. The weird thing is if you look at this, you can see how much they're taking here in the insurance, mm -hmm. right? Take two of those months. We give you thirty-one dollars and change. Got it. It's basically two months of this, okay. which might make you say, "Okay, if you really only wanted one month, why did you take three and give us back two? And if you ask that question, it would be a good question to which no one knows the answer. It's just the way they set it up to fall, in, you know, with federal regulations, so that they've not taken more than they're supposed to. But if you ever look at this and wonder aggregate adjustment, what is that? It's an accounting entry to make sure they didn't take too much right here in the, in the escrow. Okay. 